In today's tech-driven world, cloud network engineering is one of the most in-demand careers out there, from designing secure networks to ensuring seamless communication between cloud platforms. And there are so many. These pros are the backbone of the internet's future. If you ever wondered how to become a cloud network engineer, stick around because I'm about to walk you through a complete roadmap. So guys, welcome back to my channel. For the people that are new, my name is Ali and I'm a CCI certified network expert. I have over 20 years of experience in the field of unified communication and networking. So let's break this video down in like six sections. So the first section is going to talk about understanding the role of a cloud network engineer. And I know I've briefly discussed a role of a network engineer. So the cloud kind of overlaps and merges in with networking role. And we'll talk more about that. Section two is going to be building your foundations in the networking and cloud computing. Section three, what certifications are you going to be required to attain before jumping into this type of role? And of course, section four goes without saying hands-on experience. That's everything. Section number five, master advanced tools and concepts. And finally, how to land your dream job in the cloud network role. So before diving into the roadmap, let's clarify what cloud network engineers actually do. These pros design, implement, and manage network architectures in cloud environments. They ensure systems are secure, scalable, and interconnected. Key tasks include configuring cloud networks, optimizing performance, and troubleshooting connectivity issues. Some of the key skills required are that you attain are cloud architecture, networking protocols, and automation tools. Some of the platforms you get to work on, AWS, Azure, and Google Clouds. There's a lot of other clouds out there like Alibaba, Converge One, there's so many other ones. These are the top three. Let's talk about building your foundations in the networking and cloud computing. So every cloud network engineer's journey begins with a strong fundamentals. And I know I've mentioned this in many of my previous videos, and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing this, but these are some of the skills that are mandatory to become a network engineer, let alone being a cloud network engineer. Start with the networking basics. Learn about IP addressing, routing, firewalls, protocols like TCP IP and DNS, and then move to cloud concepts such as virtualizations, storage, deployment models like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and then software as a service. Some of the certifications, as I've mentioned in my previous videos as well, is CompTIA Network Plus for network essentials. Explore cloud fundamentals through free resources like AWS. AWS training or Azure's learning path. They have a lot of free resources out there on these cloud platforms. Definitely check it out and make sure you drop a comment below if you need links to these resources. So what type of certifications will you need or need to attain to be able to work as a cloud network engineer? First of all, if you have practical experience, you don't need any. But if you are starting from ground up, this is for those people. The certifications validate your knowledge and skills to the potential employer. Some of the top picks for aspiring cloud network engineers, I would recommend going for AWS a certified solutions architect, which is an associate level certification, Microsoft Azure administrator, Google Cloud professional network engineer, then there's Cisco CCNA. And then, you know, start with the foundation certification and work your way up. So the harder you work, the more advanced you could get and the higher pays you could get in this field. It's all totally up to you how far you want to go. Now, this one goes without saying, and it's probably the most important section is gaining hands-on experience. I could not stress that enough. If you haven't had any hands-on experience, you're not going to be able to pass those interviews, let alone be able to deliver the daily work that's required out of this role. So you need to be able to lab it up. If you don't have access to production, create a lab. There's a lot of resources out there for free that you could get a hold of. So it is time to get your hands dirty. Set up your virtual labs using platforms like AWS Free Tier, Azure Sandbox, Google Cloud Free Trial, build and troubleshoot networks, configure VPNs and experiment with automation tools like Terraform. So I'll give you a pro tip. Document your projects on platforms like GitHub to showcase your skills. To stand out, you gotta go beyond the basics. Learn network automation with Python or Ansible. These two are the most commonly used in the networking world. If you know Ansible and Python and you're able to automate configuration and do all kind of scripting with these type of tools, you are really standing higher up against the other candidates that you're interviewing. So I would highly, highly recommend learning some automation languages or scripting languages like Ansible and Python. Understand cloud security principles as well, like encryption and IAM policies. Familiarize yourself with CICD pipelines and DevOps practices. That's a big one too. How do you create workflows that trigger themselves? How do you merge branches? And how do you actually create the CICD pipeline in different cloud platforms? So tools, as I mentioned, Terraform is a good one. Jenkins, Kubernetes. Now it's time to finally land your first job as a cloud network engineer. After doing all of that stuff, optimize your resume to highlight certification. Project 
projects and hands-on skills. Build a LinkedIn profile and network with cloud professionals. If you already don't have a LinkedIn profile, you're already far behind. You need to create a LinkedIn profile and establish your resume according to what a cloud network engineer does. But of course, keep it relevant to what you have done. If you have done a lot of labbing, you could also put that in brackets that you've experienced that in the lab environment and you know how to configure things. But obviously production experience is what's most desired, but it still shows the employer that you have done your part to understand the environment and you know you have been hands-on with the stuff. Prepare for technical interviews for practicing common questions on platforms like lead code. That's a big one too, right? Interview prep. There's a few videos I've made on that as well, how to do that, interview questions and everything. So make sure you go through that video as well. And I've given a lot of free resources there as well. So check it out for sure. Finally, I would say becoming a cloud network engineer takes time, effort, and commitment, but the rewards are worth it. Follow this roadmap, stay curious, and keep learning. Before you know it, you'll be designing the networks that power the cloud revolution. If you found this roadmap, map helpful give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more tech career content and let me know in the comments where you are on your journey see you guys in the next video